In this video, I'm going to show you a great way to beat man coverage in Madden 23. We're going to be breaking down a little play out of the um, out of the Washington offensive playbook. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you want to get access to new videos. Also, if you want to get my full Washington uh, offensive ebook, make sure that you join my Patreon. Uh, it's our most recent ebook and wanted to give you guys a great little tool uh, for beating man to man. And that is the gun tight. In this ebook, we actually combined the gun bunch, the gun uh, the gun bunch open tight end and the gun tight. And we're going to be talking today about why uh, the gun tight is one of the better formations in the game. And we're going to be going over the play slot post. Slot post, in my opinion, is one of the best plays this year for man and zone. Um, and so we're going to be going over how I like to utilize this play uh, to attack the defense. Now, like I said, if you want to get the full ebook, make sure you join my Patreon. The link is going to be in the description. The setup's fairly simple. All we're going to do is we're going to motion out Chris Godwin. We're going to wheel the running back, streak Julio Jones. And then if you want to, you can slant um, this backside slot. So you have slant post over the middle. And then you also have this little quick throw right here to the running back. Now, this quick throw is one of the better quick throws in the game. You can do this wheel from a lot of different formations. But I just find that this formation in particularly um, does a really, really good job with this quick throw. Another thing you can do if you like to ag is you can throw ags on this outside receiver. So um, these little fades right here that both the right and the left receiver um, find themselves on are really, really good uh, for aggressive catches, as you can see right there. Like They're just really good for aggressive catches. So all you're doing, all I'm doing is highballing these. And I'm just clicking on and going and making a play with my user. Uh, nothing too complicated. You know, again here, there you see, we're going to get these crazy animations where the defender doesn't animate. It's really good for man. Um, it's not as good against zone. You can do it against zone, but it's really not meant for zone. It's really primarily uh, designed to attack man. Now, if you want to block your running back, you can. You can still run the play like this, um, and you'll be fine. Now, what you'll see right here is this post is probably, in my opinion, a top five route this year. Uh, this post, because it's kind of circular, if you will, um, it does a really, really good job at attacking man coverage. So you'll see right here, again, I could throw this. This, this tight end is actually terrible, but he's going to beat Murphy bundling every single time. It doesn't really matter. And if you want to, you can put short in elite on all of these people. That's what I do. That's how I recommend you run this scheme. With short and elite, it makes it really, really effective. Uh, because again, you've got the ag on the right, you have the snap throw to the running back. So, like if they're in a situation, which this is something you will see, um, you know, where you're getting blitzed, you know, and they're going to you know, maybe to do coverage like this, their user now has to make a decision. Am I going to go to the back or am I going to go to the middle of the field? Well, if he goes to the middle of the field, this is an easy snap throw, and you got a lead blocker out there for you as well. Um, so that's why the wheel is so powerful, okay? Uh, you can, if you wanted to do a little more of a slant flat concept, you could do something like this. Another thing you could do is you could kind of flip the setup. So... You could do something like this, which actually, so now we're going to ag on the left side. Um, so you could just ag here, just like we did on the back side. And then the other thing that you get with this is now this, this pull route is still going to be effective. So the reason you want to have the streak or a streak of some type on the side of the tight end is because... Uh, the tight end needs a clear out route against zone. So you'll see right here, when we have that clear out route, it's going to be able to effectively attack and break down zone coverage. So this play all around, like I said, I personally need to run this play more, especially when I run this playbook. This play is really simple and really, really good. Um, you see the slant on the right or on the left um, does such a good job. This little angle route, you can, if you want to quick snap this play, just wheel the running back and snap the ball. You can quick snap this play. Um, I just find that a slant is a little bit more effective and it's a little quicker hitting 
than the route that he's currently on. So by doing something like this, this is going to give me protection. Another little thing that you could do because Tight is so good at motion snaps, motion blocking, you could do something like this. And then you could just motion this guy in a step or two and block the slot corner blitzes like that. And now you have plenty of time to let his 93 speed overtake. I think Rudolph's in the 70s. Um, you know, but you see the idea. So you could do so much with this play. Um, yeah. And, and I'm telling you, don't underestimate the power of this post route. This post route is so good. Here you see double cover, and I can still throw it. And with short and elite and a good tight end there, it's really good. Tight is super effective this year because of the fact that um, it does such a good job of beating man-to-man -man coverage. And also, uh, it actually does a really good job this year of blocking because these motion blocks are really powerful for picking up um, blitzes. If you wanted to max protect this setup, all you need to do is block your running back, and then you can motion block whoever you want. So like in this example, we're going to motion block Godwin. We still have our slant post concept, and now we have max protecting out of this setup, and you see we're still able to be man-to-man. -man. So I really like this formation. I think this formation is actually really underrated, um, and it's it's even better than you might think. So anyways, get it tight. Tight's a lot of fun, um, but you can combine tight with Washington. That's what makes Washington so good is it has the best bunch in the game, but it also has a really, really good tight formation like this that you can audible to whenever your opponent is running a lot of man coverage. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my full Washington offensive ebook, make sure you join the Patreon. Patreon members get access to all ebooks and all updates to those ebooks. It's only $10 to sign up. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.